Hey, this is Tim here. I hope you're doing well and uh, getting through this um, this bullshit. Well, it's not a bullshit quarantine, but you're it's important. But you're not you're not it's not wrecking your head too much, um, and you get the chance to take it easy a bit. Um, so uh, this is part number four, and um, I'm going to give it a lash. So uh, let's have a look here. It looks like some sort of a ratchet looking thing. Um, I suppose my brain is thinking I want to draw a simple disc and maybe make one of these teeth and then array, do a circular pattern of the, the teeth, the tooth, the teeth. So uh, I'll give that a lash. Um, so new part. And I'll switch the units. And I'll just go front. Now I need a disc here. So I'm going to do a little circle. And a big circle. And what do I have? The big circle is 32. And the little one is 6. 6 and 32. Alright. Now. That, that annoys me so let's do it again. Alright. Now what's its thickness? Its thickness is um, 6. So let me just extrude this. We'll make it 6. Now let's try and draw one of the, the teeth of the ratchet. I don't know if that's the right word but that's what it looks like to me. I need a 12 o'clock and something coming off at 60 degrees. All right. Now, 60 degrees. And, okay. And this, what are we going to do here? I got the 60 degrees. I got this radius of 23. So let me think here. Uh, and I need that, um, I need this 40 diameter circle. I'll get the 40 diameter circle and I'll make that for construction. So let's go back and think about this. It's going to start up here and curve around to there. So if I get a three point arc and I go one, two, and I'm just going to put this anywhere around there, something like that. And I'm going to make this tangent. Is it really tangent? I don't. Oof. Um, what did we say? This is 23, isn't it? Radius 23. Okay. And then I get, I get from that point to there. I'm going to click this face and go convert entities and I have this shape and if I go what is the radius the radius is a half and a half and a half a millimeter sorry so let's put in 0.5 all right and I think that's it now uh, I I like whenever I do an array I like to do it at the feature level I just feel, find it's easier to control so I'm going to exit out of this and I, I was thinking like some of these problems are quite easy. They are going to get a bit more challenging, but for fun, if anybody has a really, really tough problem, just for fun, if you want to send it on to me and just to see if I can do it on the cuff, I will do that. I won't study up on it. I'll just get it and I'll go for it. Um, so there's that. And you'll see, it, you'll see if I'm any good. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to array that uh, circular pattern. Like that, and I'll make it six. We got this. Now we have our, our ratchet design. Now, uh, the last thing is 
we need this boss coming up and then we of oh, it comes up one and then it's inside piece so i'm gonna go sketch uh click this edge convert entities get a circle going and what is it it's diameter 12. And we want to just come up one there all right and then we'll go here sketch i'll click on this edge convert entities and i'll just cut that in one and i'm pretty sure that's it what are you going to do right click here 1060 evaluate mass properties and that's your answer um that's it. It's easy. That should be no trouble to you. This one's another one. This this trust looking gizmo is easy. Um, I'm gonna tackle that next, and then if I'm in the mood, I'm gonna hit hit go for that one. All right, I'll see you in a bit.